Hi, in this video we're going through how to remove the theme credit or the Powered by WordPress credit from your WordPress website. My name's Dan and this is WP Updude. Welcome, my name's Dan, I'm a senior software engineer and full stack WordPress developer with WP Update. And in this video, we're going through how to remove or at least hide the theme credit or the WordPress credit, which often appears at the bottom of free themes. So to do this, you'll need administrative access. You'll need to have an administrator or a network admin account. If you don't have one of those, that's okay. You can contact your administrator and ask them to elevate your account, or you can ask them to do this for you. So you'll also need to make sure that removing this isn't a direct violation of the terms of service of your theme. And you can do that by reviewing the themes terms of service at the theme page, which you can often find just by clicking the theme name, if that's the case. In this case, I'm reasonably confident it's not a violation of the terms of service. And for the pro version, it does let you remove it straight off. But in this case, what we're going to do is just hide it because we have no option to remove it within the theme. So let's head firstly to customize up the top there we go and we can see we go all the way down that it is there and forgive the footer layer because that's um because i'm zoomed in a little bit it goes a little bit on the responsive side now if you have the option to simply hide or remove the theme uh, theme credit is yourself it will often be found in the theme options and either global settings or the footer section if you don't have that option, if it's not a simple checkbox or it's not part of the theme itself, what you can do is tweak the CSS to hide it so that people can't see it on the front end. Does a reasonable enough job that 99.9% .9 of your visitors won't ever notice. So what we're going to do is head to additional CSS here and we're going to do a little bit of a CSS trick. And you can see we've already done some minor customizations. Now this will work in any browser as well. So uh, regardless of the browser that you're in, Chrome, Firefox, Brave, Safari will all, all have the same thing. Now I'm just gonna switch myself off for a second there so you can see what's going on. What we wanna do is right click and then go to inspect or inspect element. So that should be normally the bottom or one of the bottom options there. That will either pop a new window like it has here or it may dock itself down the bottom. And what we want to do there is have a look at this. This is what's called the document object model, and it's how your browser interprets your website behind the scenes. And now what we want to do is go down until we can sort of isolate this particular block. So you can see as we've, we've got highlighting switched on, as we go over, that is the entire column there. We want to hit that little down arrow, and we can see our copyright statement. We can see our span separator and we can see the extra bits and pieces there. And what we wanna do, I think is probably just remove this all together. So let's go back up, up and up again. And we're going to just dump the entire site info thing because we can't isolate this on its own. So once we've got that, I've clicked back into the other window there. You will have noticed, there we go. I've grabbed site info, so I've just copied that. And you can see there's the styles over on the right hand side here. So copy the thing inside class there. It's control C on your keyboard. Then put a dot because it's a class dot paste. So we're now isolating the site info and then opening and closing curly braces. And we want to set this to display none. So that's display then a full colon, not a semicolon, but the two dots, not the dot and the comma. And then we want to set that to none. And then we'll follow that up with a semicolon. So that's the dot and the comma. And that should have removed it altogether. And you can see that has been completely deleted from the visuals there. We can hit publish, close, and that's done. Now it is a Probably not the best approach in the world, but if your theme doesn't allow you to hide something through an option, this is a reasonable way to get it done in a pinch. So thank you very much for watching. Check out the videos on the left for some more WordPress tips, or if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and ringing the bell so that WordPress notifies you whenever we post a new vid. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.